Okay, so I'm making this video that as you come in through the door of the pursuit, you've got your closet space right there next to the door, as well as your battery power switch, along with your step lights, entry, your awning lights uh, for the cabin. And then to the left, you're gonna have your full your refrigerator, uh, which I replaced the door panels uh, because when the inspector came in and I had silver, uh, there was a little bit of uh, goo from the stickers. So we went ahead and just went ahead and replaced the, the doors itself. Um, here's the control panel, which shows 370 hours on the generator, as well as the air conditioner and the heater uh, control panel. Then you've got your tank heater here. To the left, you're gonna have a walk-in, full walk-in uh, bathroom. You've got your toilet, uh, cabinet space. You're gonna have mirror, you're gonna have your sink, and you're gonna have your full shower. Full stand up, lots of head space, lots of room. Uh, above, you're gonna have your vent, which everything works in this RV. It's been inspected. The inspector even said it was extremely clean, uh, fu fully functional RV. Uh, here's a control panel, Jensen with a uh, charging center. Uh, you've got plenty of cabinet space, overhead lighting. Uh, there's your overhead lighting, speaker system, as well as more cabinet space. Uh, one of the selling things was here was extra storage space above it. They even have a CPAP hose if you're into that. Um, Full-size king bed. Um, I've just got the pillow blankets and the sheets on here now, but um, you've got plenty of storage space. You've got your closets. Um, you've got an external uh, T or internal TV. Uh, there we go. We can open this up. You got room for your DVD player, your movies, and anything you want to put in there. More drawer space underneath. Uh, okay, so the rear rear view window. Uh, again, more storage space. Here's the main cabin bedroom. You've got privacy doors on both sides for obvious reasons for your privacy. And then you've got bunk beds here that if you want to sleep more or you can lift this at an angle, this top, this top bunk, uh, you've got a hanger up here. If you want to hang clothes, you've got more lighting, uh, plenty of lighting. You've even got um, plug-ins for your cable, uh, more lighting underneath. You've got curtains. Come over to your kitchen, you've got your stove area, oven top, you've got your microwave, here's your, your uh, light switch here, and your fan, you got your microwave, you've got cabinet space for extra food, here's your sink, lots of storage for any pots, pans spices, napkins, silverware. Come over here to the dining area. You've got uh, plenty of storage space for underneath the, uh, the chairs. This dining table drops down, folds out. Uh, you can put the mattresses, squeeze them over if you need bunk space. You've got this queen size bunk or a full to queen size bunk that drops down automatically. The uh, control panel for the bunk is over here. So if you want it to go back up, pushing the up button and give it a minute. Pushing that button and the bunk's going to fully rise all the way to the top ceiling. Uh, inside you've got your awning that you can control your awning out here. Uh, you've got your couch. You've got your captain's chairs, 
You've even got a workstation where you can pull this up and out as a working desk. And you've got two USB ports. You've got a backup camera system. You can control your, uh, do your auxiliary start, your generator start. You can control the radio, the overhead speaker system. This has uh, jacks that you can go ahead and uh, do your auto leveling. This table is removable. That way, if you want more space, um, you can go ahead and move more space. Underneath the fridge, I didn't get this earlier, but you do have space if you got some cleaning stuff that you wanna go ahead and put in there. Um, you've got your sensor for uh, any leaks. You've Overhead, you've got fans, but you've also got two air conditioning uh, systems. One in the main bedroom and one in the uh, main cabin area. You've got your light switch over your stairs. You come outside and you're gonna have a solar charge station. You're gonna have your uh, also another more receptacles um out here you've got the awning i don't have it fully extended um but it does extend further you've got your external tv which you you can set up the uh you can set up the uh dvd player inside uh, right next to where the power awning is you've got underneath storage space And again, like I said before, it is a 31BH uh, Coachman Pursuit. And of course you got your ladder. Um, now this does have a sto uh, towing package, but the towing package is not gonna be used to be sold with this only because uh, you have to have the other attachment and it's attached to our vehicle. Um, out here you've got underneath uh, your connections for your fresh water, your city connections, uh, more storage space underneath. And this is a Ford V10 engine. And again, this is the Coachman Pursuit. Um, I did have it listed at 89.5. I am willing to be a little negotiable, but uh, I'm not going to be dropping the price. Uh, too much more but just wanted to show you also in these awning you have a speaker system right here on each side of the awning so if you're listening to your tv or watching tv you have uh, built-in speakers for this particular uh if you have any questions uh for this coachman pursuit uh, rv and you need me to show more details i am happy to just leave me your phone number or call me at 760-814 five six nine five thank you for looking have a good day